spiritual journey has just begun. Chant the holy names of the Lord, and all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be yours. Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Sending your dear friend to the west We all know he's Radharani's best Now heartly blessings are coming our way And we know that your love is here to stay Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama Rama, Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare Coming to this Maui Isle With your big blue eyes And your soothing smile We wish you would come here to stay But we know that you must be on your way Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare long road we met a man in saffron robes Prabhupada is his name he said come with me my daughters and sons your spiritual journey has just begun chant the holy names of the Lord Desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be yours. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. of the
Lord. And all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be अति मात्र चरित्राय स्वासीतानंचपालिने जीव दुखे सदा काय नाम प्रेम प्रदाय बंचा कल्पतरु भयस्य कृपासिंधु भयिवच पतितानं पामनेत्यो भैष्णवेत्य नमो महावदन्याय कृष्णा प्रेमा प्रदायते कृष्णा य कृष्णा चैतन्या नामने गौरवदेशी गुरवे गौरवचंद्राय राधिकाय ये तदादि कृष्णा य कृष्णा भक्ताय तदभक्ताय तवाई वाष्मी तवाई वाष्मी नजीवा मित्रया दिना इति बिग्रह राधि तांगने माम चरना माय कोटी कोटी डंडोत प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय स्पेशल मास्टर ओंग बिष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तर सत्सम भक्ति प्रज्ञान की सुविधा and same Koti Koti Dandar Pranam in the Lord's Street of my Siksha Guru Nitta Dira Pravishta Om Vishnu Bhav Shishman Bhakti Vedan Sudhani Maharaj. Yesterday in my class I told you that remaining burden of earth Krishna wanted to remove before his departure from this world. So, he inspired Brahmins and Rishi and they gave cause that very soon they will be finished. When all were finished, Then Baladev Prabhu took Samadhi and he left this world and entered in Aprakit Golok Vrindavan. Krishna was as if nothing happened and he was sitting in a people tree Thinking something, in the meantime, Uddhav came, weeping, and he told Krishna, Now I have known that you are going to your Swadham, Golok Vrindavan. So please take me with you. Without you, I cannot remain here. So please take me. Then Krishna told, you will have to be in this world. I will tell you, the essence of all the literatures, how a person can attain Supreme Lord, very easy. 
So, you should stay here. And I am teaching you all these things. And after this, you should go to Badrikashram. There, Maitreya Rishi. In the way you will meet Vidu, you tell, you should tell him all these teachings, and then you should go to Maitreya and tell him, and he will reveal all these things to whole world. And I know that if you are here, no separation with me. Anyhow, you will be in Vrindavan, on Kusum Sarovar, as a blade of cross is there. Asam ho charna, reni jusam aham shyam. He has prayed that I should be in Vrindavan as a blade of cross. Gopil come to Avisar Krishna, their feet dust will be there and my life will be successful. So you should be there. After some time, Bajranav and Parikshit Maharaj will come to you. And then you should tell them all these things. So Krishna began to tell all these things. Up till now, what I told, it was preface. That in what circumstances Uthav came and Krishna told him all the teachings. So now, first of all, we will discuss about Nemi Maharaj and Nao Jogendra. Once Vasudeva was with Krishna and whole dynasty. <coughs> At that time Narada came and he washed his feet, took his feet water and gave it to whole family. And then he asked, in my previous part, I have done Aradhana that Supreme Lord should come as my son. But I have not done anything to be liberated from this world. So please tell me the easiest process. method, process, that even a lame man who has heard nothing about this, has no idea of what is Krishna consciousness, so easily they can follow and have the Krishna pray. So, it I told in Srimad Bhagavatam, Govinda Bhuja Guptayam, Dharavatta Puna Puna, Kuradva, Avisit Narada, Avikno, Krishna Darshana Lalasa. You know that Narada Rishi is highest class of Rasik devotee. In the first creation, Daksha Prajapati sent his so many thousands of sons to be educated in the school of Narad. <coughs> Narad very soon trained them and they become sannyasi, renowns. And they went to forest to do Aradhana of Krishna. <coughs> when Daksha came, where are my sons? Still now, 
their study is not completed, where they are? Oh, they went to their house. Oh, from school they have given them what holiday. <laughs> and then he knew that oh Nartha had trained them. They have become highest class of devotee. And they will never return to this world. What world is Narad knows? Narad knows. Only fire and fire. In this world, anyone cannot be satisfied by worldly desire and sense gratifications. So, <coughs> Daksha went to his, return back and then Again, so many sons, he sent to Narada and told him, Oh, don't teach them all these things. You can teach them how to make praja, how to uh, uh, children and daughters and sons and daughters. So only teach them this. Oh, I will train. <laughs> and then he trained and they become also pure devotees. <laughs> and they went to forest. Again he became angry, Daksha. Oh. Again I warned you not to teach them this Harikatha, but you have trained. Now I am giving you course that you cannot stay anywhere to teach anyone. <laughs> hmm? As soon as a cow is milked for oh, five minutes, you can stay there only. Not more than that. <laughs> Thus you will. Not at all. Oh, very good. <laughs> now I will teach all others. <laughs> At first I was engaged in the service of only the sons of Daksha. Now in the whole world I will tour and I will teach my bhakti to all. So, Govinda Bhuja Gupta Yang Dara Vatya Puna Kurudvaha. So, the Daksha saw that the course of Daksha <laughs> could not enter in Dwarka because it was rakshit by, by Krishna. So, when Narad Rishi used to come to be with Krishna, there he spent, used to spend so many days and months and again Krishna used to send him, again he used to come. So, <coughs> when uh, Vasudeva Maharaj told, I have done Aradhana of Supreme Lord, he should mention, I have not done anything for my liberation. Please tell me. Hearing this, Narada became very, very happy and told, You have remembered me the sweet past times and Aprakrit Guna Samuha qualities of Krishna. If anyone will hear, even one time, he will come in the year of persons, they will be liberated, Krishna Prem will come. So, you have reminded me, now I am telling that in very ancient time, ancient time there was a king, name was Nemi Maharaj of Janakpuri. Very learned, 
and he was pure devotee. And in their kingdom, <coughs> the son of Harishab Dev, now Jogendra came. He was doing five sacrifices, thousands of Rithiks and others were uh, there. When now Jagendra nine came, all stood up. You know Rishabh Dev. He has hundred sons. The eldest was Bharat Maharaj, and he was the king of Ajanab. Barsha and by his name it became Bharat Barsha. He was a great devotee. He left this world as a stool and he was doing bhajan in the forest and he reached up to Rati Avastha, Bhav, Suddhasattva. And then, anyhow, he was a tangle with a baby deer. And he used to lump what he has left before. No? He has left his sons, daughters, wife, wealth, big kingdom, everything. But now, he was so much attached. So three births he lost. At the time of death, what he was doing? Thinking about the Remembering, oh, my dear son, oh, very auspicious, where you used to travel, your feet dust, it was the place of fire sacrifices. And in the meantime, they had come, and he remembered. So if anyone will attach to a beautiful lady, what will be result? If to dear attached, and he lost, and he was up to bhava varsta, and then we, of no place, or thousands and hundreds of lives, we will lose. Be careful. And then he became, reminding him, became what? Dear. So we, we will attach too much to our family, ladies, wife, son. And at the death of that time, they must come in or remember, and we will be, oh, lady. Ladies will be? Male. So be careful. Now Jogendra, after three lives, he again received the same stay, and he attended Krishna Prem and liberated. No Jogendra, they were from beginning like Sanak Sanandan Sanatan Sanat Kumar. Paramahansa, no jati, no caste, nothing. They used to go everywhere where they like. In Swarga, heaven, up to Brahmano, yet everywhere in the earth. So when he came, they came, all stood up. And Nami Maharaj told, the fruit of all the Jagya has come here. Now he stop the Jagya. No need of her doing any sacrifice. And then he asked the same question. Same question. So, now we will begin 11th canto.
When Narad came to Vasudev Maharaj, Vasudev told Bhagwan Bhauto Jatra Shastai Sarvadehi Nam Kipanam Jatha Pitro Uttam Sloko Vartana. Oh, Narudrishi, you are traveling to this world. Is for the benefit of the whole world. You are so merciful. More than father and mother. Bhutanam Devacharitam. If you will worship gods, demigods, if you want poison, they will give poison. Even Shankar. He gave a bone to Bhashmasur, to whom you will keep your hands finished. So Indra, Varun, Jam, all, they will give what you benediction want. They will never think that whether it is poison or it is nectar. Mm. Then, <coughs> so when, when Nami Maharaj, uh, when fire sacrifice was stopped, then Videhu Bacha, Nami Maharaj, Manne Bhagavata Sakshat Parsudo Vod, Madhudisha, Vishnu Bhutani Lokani Pavanan Charantihi. Oh, I think, Manne, I think that you are Pasad of Madhudvesha, Krishna, Supreme Lord. They always travel in the whole world out of mercy to teach them Bhagavad Dharma. Like at the time of Ajamil, Vishnu death came, they were going to travel in the world and they saw and told him so many things. And then he went to Haridwar and began to chant pure name of Narayan and thus he achieved the frame and he go on to Vaikuntala. So Durlabho Manusho Deho Deha Tehinang Chanabhangura Tatrapi Durlabham Manne Vaikuntha Priyadarsanam. Can you? You have nuts? You can take the book and... I told you to be prepared. Huh? I don't know which slope is... You can see this slope. You have noted from tomorrow you should note down all these things. Ekadeshaskan, second chapter, 29th is low. Durlava Manusho Deho, Dehinam Kshana Bhangura, Tatrapi Durlabham Manye Vaikunta Priya Darshanam. For the conditioned souls, the human body is most difficult to achieve, and it can be lost at any moment. But I think that even those who have achieved human life, they rarely gain the association of pure devotees who are dear to the Lord of Vaikunta. Explain something. <clears throat> Oma Gyanati Mirandasya, Gyanan Jana Shalakaya, Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. 
So here, which Navi Yogendra is speaking? Or this is? This is still Nemi Maharaj. Nemi Maharaj was, as Srila Gurudev has described, he is now being visited by these, by these Nava Yogendras, by these nine very powerful uh, rishis, saints, who are pure devotees. So he's making the statement to them, as Srila Gurudev said, that he was performing this great sacrifice and now that they have appeared, now he declared, oh, the, re the purpose of our sacrifice is now fulfilled because these personalities have come. So he's explaining that this human birth, the opportunity for the jiva soul in this material world to get the human body is extremely rare. Why? Because in this material world, there are 8,400,000 different species of life that the jiva soul, the jivatma, has to travel through in order to come up gradually, gradually to the human platform. He has to travel through so many uh, species of aquatic species in the ocean. He has to travel through so many species of reptiles on the land so many insects. He has to come up through the bird species. He has to come up through the animal species. And finally, he comes to the human species. Even within human form, there are so many different types of human species, and half of them, out of 400,000 human species, 200,000, half of them, they're uncivilized. What is uncivilized? It means that they have no Vedic culture, no connection with the absolute truth. And so he has to travel through millions, literally millions of lifetimes in order to attain one human birth. So Maharaj Nimi is declaring his own good fortune that this human form of life is so rarely attained now I have attained that human form of life. But within the human form of life, even more rare to attain is to actually meet face to face with a pure unalloyed devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is so uh, inconceivably rare. There is an example that we have heard from our Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada that he explained there is a turtle, a tortoise, just like the turtles, very big large turtles, they go down into the ocean and they dive quite deep uh, and they hold their breath. So after some time, again they come back up to the surface. So when they come up to the surface, they get some more air, oxygen, and then after some time again they go back down. So this tur there is one turtle one tortoise who is uh, underneath the surface of the ocean. And on top of the surface of the ocean, there is a log, a piece of wood. It is floating along, and inside of the log, the piece of wood, there is a hole. So this uh, tortoise is swimming upward, gradually coming up to the top of the surface of the water, and this log with the, uh, with the hole in it, is also floating along. And for this tortoise to come up and, and, and meet at the very point where this log of wood floats across and to put his mouth up through this hole, this is the rarity of coming into the human form of life and meeting a pure devotee of the Lord. Huh? So you can figure it out mathematically. So the point is that... Huh? Oh, yes, he reminded that the tortoise, it comes up once, only every 100 years. Yes. So, like this, actually, we are unaware of this fact. We are coming, we are traveling in this material world for millions of lifetimes, and we are unaware of this fact. Spiritual life begins. Even if he had no connection with the pure devotion previously, 
But when he meets the pure devotee face to face, now the seed of devotion is planted in his heart. There are so many examples in Shastra. We have also heard the example of Sri Narada Muni meeting the hunter, Mirgari. Very, very low-grade persons. His whole life was completely transformed and changed. So therefore Maharaj Nimi is making this statement that even if one has the chance to get half of a moment of association in proper consciousness with such a pure Vaishnav personality, then he has, a, he has the opportunity to attain the ultimate benefit, the Atyantikam Kshemam. What is Atyantikam Kshemam? So, so the ultimate benefit that a person can attain in this human form of life is a uh, prema pumarto mahan. As Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has brought to this world this greatest gift of Krishna Prem, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, before he came to this world, there was also the opportunity to attain Prem, to attain love for God, to attain Vaikuntha Prem. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, in the present time, is the ultimate opportunity, the ultimate of the ultimate good for the human being. That one can attain uh, Vraja Prem, and within the context of Vraja Prem, one can attain the eternal uh, association and service of the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. So, the human being is not meant only for Dharma, Artha, Kama, and Moksha. These four goals of human life are insignificant in comparison with the ultimate attainment of Prem. So the pure devotees of the Lord, they inform the human society about this ultimate good, ultimate attainment for them, and they set them on this path of pure devotion to the Supreme Lord so that one day they may attain this Krishna Prem. Also, more than that, Abshrim, Gopi Prem, <laughs> Braj Prem, yes. and then Radha, Radha Dasya. Radha Dasya. This is authentic yes. or supreme Kalyan. Auspiciousness. Oh. After that, you, you. Hearing this question, Kavi began to answer and he told that himself Krishna, Supreme Lord, has so many process of attaining him, easiest thing. <coughs> if he will run Closing your eyes <coughs> means, what is the meaning? If you will neglect something, Bhiti, Marga, no harm. By that, you will attend Bridge Prem, Krishna Prem. <coughs> and then, he began to tell, Kaena Basa, Bacha, Manasain Driyai Vuvah, Buddhyatmana vanshit sabhavat karoti jachat sakalam parashmai narayani ti sat. It is not Prahlad Maharaj Pakkha. <laughs> so, <clears throat> In accordance with the particular nature one has acquired in conditioned life, whatever one does with body, words, mind, senses, intelligence, or purified consciousness, one should offer to the Supreme, thinking this is for the pleasure of Lord Narayan. Next verse. Meaning? Gurave Gora Chandai Radhikaya Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadavaktaya Namo Namaha. Means this, this body that we have received is due to our past activities. Therefore, with whatever we have, our Parabdha Karma, with which our present body is now made of, in whatever condition one find oneself, one should engage one's body, mind, words, intelligence, and consciousness 
as an offering to the Supreme Lord. For example, this Bhagavad Dharma is so broad, one should not think, oh, this is only for human beings. Because we see even those in the lowest species of life who have achieved the body as a result of their past karma, they can also engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Like Gajendra, Indrajuna Maharaj, because of his karma, his past activities, he was cursed by Angira Rishi to take the form of an elephant. Despite being an elephant, he could still engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Or what to speak of devotees like Garuda, even uh, despite assuming, of course it's an eternal parika form, but even assuming the form of bird, he could still engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Therefore this Bhagavad Bhakti, this chanting of the holy name can be performed in any condition. Atako Bhakti Vinod, he prayed, Kita Jan Mahao Jata Tura Das Bahir Mukha Brahma Nahimora As. He said, even as a result of my past activities, I have to take birth as a worm. Still, I want to take birth as a worm in the house of a devotee, so I can get the chance for a Sangha or Vaishnav. I don't want to be born even as Lord Brahma if I am born against you, without the chance of Satsangha. Therefore, this Bhagavat, like Guru Maharaj was saying, even if one runs with eyes closed, there can be no fear of fall down. Even if there is some mistake, in a, in a devotee's performance of Shravan Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam, there's no doubt he will achieve the supreme destination. As a result of his past activities, Valmiki took birth as the Dakoid Ratnaka, but he chanted the holy name backwards. Still he achieved perfection. Ultanam Japati Jagajani Valmiki Bayo Brahmana Samani. Therefore, there's no question of anyone falling on this path of bhakti. Even though Bharat Maharaj, he was degraded by his activities to take birth as a, as a deer, still he could achieve the topmost destination. Even though Chit, Maharaj Chitraketu, as a result of his activities, he had to take birth as the Asura, Britas, as the Asura Britasur, still he achieved com complete perfection. Therefore, one should not think, oh, this present body is unfavorable for bhajan, oh, I was born in the West, oh, I have so many bad samskar. This, Navagendra Sambhad says, whatever you have in whatever condition, whatever time, place, circumstance, this bhakti has no obstacle. One can engage whatever one has, in whatever condition, in the service of the Lord and achieve complete perfection. When did the other release? This was Pujapachivika Maharaj's favorite verse. Boyam dvitiya bhavanesa tasyadi sadvipasya vipariyo smiti so this was the question. Nimi Maharaj asked, how can even a foolish person who has no knowledge, how they can cross this ocean of birth and death? So, Boyam Dvitiya Abhavanesa Tashyad. So, Vipariya Smiti, the living entity, because he has minute independence, and because of minute independence, he's come to this world. He has developed vipari yosmriti, means a feeling of enviousness towards Krishna. Oh, why he should be the center of everything? Why he should be bhakta? Why he should be the enjoyer? I should be the enjoyer. I should be the center. Therefore, because of vipari yosmriti, because of enviousness, of enviousness of Krishna, he falls to this world and immediately he experiences boyam dvitiya abhavanesa tashad. Immediately he experiences fear because he associates with, he is claiming something as his own. So, Puja Pachavika Maharaj gave an example. For example, a brahmachari, he's alone doing bhajan, then he's very happy. But as soon as he marries, immediately comes fear. Because he thinks she is mine, then comes fear, what, what happens if someone else takes her? What happens if she becomes sick? Then the baby comes, then more fear comes, oh, I have to supply for the baby, I have to do this, I have to do that. Because as soon as one thinks this is mine, immediately comes a situation of fear. For example, if we're walking down the road, we have no money, nischin, no problem. But if we have $10,000 in our pocket there, thinking, oh, everyone will rob me. Therefore, boyam duitia. That feeling of duitia or dual mentality is the cause of fear. Therefore, this is called bhaktik, this is called abhujat buddhatvam. This is called Maya, or that which is not, which is not, isn't it? You are not the enjoyer, and nothing is yours. That is called Maya. So Maya produces that feeling of aham mamata, mameti, 
I am this body and this is mine. Therefore, what to do? Because we are all in this present situation. Therefore, there is only one medicine that even a most foolish person can adopt. Bhakti Eki Sham Guru Devatmana. Guru Devatma. Bhakti Eki Sham. Ek Sham. That means. Guru Devi is Paramaradha. Guru Devi is our most worshipful. And one should perform one pointed devotion to him. That means Guru. Now at the present, we're thinking, well, my Atma belongs to me. I am this Atma. I am independent. So one should, like what? one has the what? same. What? What? Now we are thinking, this Atma is, I belong to myself. This Atma is mine. Here, Atma means Priya. Uh, so, Guru Dev is a, my Priyatam. Knowing this, you should serve Guru Dev. Don't disobey him. Otherwise, fall down. So, you should know that Guru Dev is our most Priyatam Bandhu. Dear friend, worship him. And we should obey and serve him. And by that, we should serve always Radha Krishna Kanjuga. This is easiest method. If Bhayang Ditya, if you will forget Krishna, then you will have to be what? Too much Ashakti in this world. Oh, I'm this world. Oh, old age will come and then I will die. They think that I will die. So, bhayam. Oh, at the time of death we cannot take anything. And so many diseases, so many problems in this world. So, bhaya. That is why you should know Guru Dev, your Paramabandhu more than father, mother, and relative, and wife. And obey him, and worship him, and then do bhajan to Radha Krishna. Shrivan Subhadrani Rathanga Pani Janmani Karmani Chijani Loke Gitani Namani Tadathakani Gayan Bilat Yogichari Tasanga Sajjan Maharaj Kain Then you you pray for your journey. Uma kya rati varadhasya Gyanandana shalakya Chakshura nuritam dena Tasmai Sri Gurave Nama. Canto 11, text 39. Srinvansu Badhani Ratanga Panir, Janmani Karamani Chayani Loke, Gitani Namani Tadatakani Gayan Vilajo Vicharata Sangha. An intelligent person who has controlled his mind and conquered fear should give up all attachment to material objects such as wife, family, and nation, and should wander freely without any embarrassment, hearing, chanting the holy names of the Lord, the bearer of the chariot wheel. The holy names of Krishna are all auspicious because they describe his transcendental birth and activities which he performs within this world for the salvation of the conditioned souls. Thus the holy names of the Lord are sung throughout the world. So, in this verse, it's explained that the, having taken shelter of the lotus feet of Sadguru, as described earlier, one should, without any attachment, wander throughout this world. And this doing... is the symptom of Mahabhagavat. Mm -hmm. So, a bhakta, a Mahabhagavat, oh, does like this. Mm -hmm. Evam Brahmaswapriya Namakirtya 
So here, the symptoms of the <coughs> Mahabhagwat in the stage of Prem have been described. What is he doing? Wandering here and there without any attachment. And Vilajja means without any shame. He's not embarrassed or afraid to sing and dance. Why? Because he cannot see the people and society of this world. He's completely absorbed in his eternal identity and eternal relationship with Krishna. And what does he do? Srinvansu Bhadrani Ratanga Parnia. He's hearing the beautiful auspicious pastimes of Sri Krishna. Jan Janmani Karmani about Krishna's birth and Krishna's activities. And Chayani Loke. Srila Vishnu Chakritakur said Chayani Loke means he's describing even in the languages of this world, in his local language, he may describe in English, French, Russian, Italian, <laughs> whatever. He can uh, speak the pastimes of the Lord. Who is the Lord? Ratanga Pane. Ratanga Pane means hmm, he whose hand has the mark of a chariot wheel. Hmm? On Krishna's hand, he has so many symbols. The mark of a chariot wheel. So it's described when hmm, Akrura came to Vrindavan. Then Krishna reached forward and went to touch him with his hand. And Akura looked and saw the chariot wheel upon his hand or the chakra on his hand. It's a sign that, oh my dear devotee, don't be afraid. I will protect you from all things. Gitani Namani Tadatakani. He should sing the names of Sri Krishna. Like Govinda Dhamo Dharamadaveti Govinda Dhamo Tadartakani and here Tadartakani means he should explain the meanings. What is the meaning of Govinda? Govinda who plays with Go, the cows, who plays with Go, the go gopes, who plays with Go means gopis, especially Shimati Radhika. So he'll explain the meaning of all of these things and in this way I'll distribute auspiciousness throughout the world. I taught at the beginning, I taught. At the beginning, I taught. No, no, in the last, Bichare Dasanga. Ga Gayan means he will sing Vilajo without any embarrassment. And Vicharet, he will wander here and there, Asangaha, without becoming attached to any temporary material. Without things. any attachment. No attachment. Only attachment to Guru and Krishna. So, in this way, Mahabhagavat travels in the whole world. To purify whole world. Evan Brata Sapriya Nama Kritya Jata Nurago de Chichit Uchei Hasatta Toro de Tiroti Gaya Unamad that net that he look of a year. So Evan Brata Brata means Jan Mashmi Brata. And other breath. So our breath should be, or to chant and to sing the glories of Krishna. Radhe 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 Priya Nama Kritya. 
the names which are very favorable for you. You should chant. <coughs> like gopis used to do in their household activities also. If they were what churning. sleep her children. Oh, don't weep. You should sleep. Then not telling like that. No shame. Oh, hands up like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And singing. Weeping, Jaton Uraga. At once, Krishna Prem comes. He cannot say, Dutta Chitta Uchai. Loudly, 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 he begins to chant. Go win the Dhamma Dharma Kaveti. Go win the Dhamma Dharma Kaveti. Go win the Dhamma. That Krishna is playing with all the boys, Madhumangal and all. Madhumangal told, if you will give your float, your dress, your peacock feather, no one will give anything to you. All laddu and everything they will give to me. Krishna told, oh, oh, you should take. And he gave his peacock feather, pitambar, everything. And in the meantime, Keshi came. <laughs> <laughs> and he, with his behind legs, oh, he did like so. And then Madhumangal, <laughs> then all began to laugh. Remembering this, and he began to laugh louder. Anyone know the person, general person, they don't know the, why he is laughing. They think that he is mad person. But really what? Always remembering the sweet past times. Hasat. Oh, very loudly he begins to laugh. Ho, 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 like that. <laughs> or sometimes he saw that Krishna disappeared. Then he began to weep louder. Why he is weeping? No one knows. Hmm? Gayat Unmadar, like mad person. And he, sometimes Nityati, to please Krishna, she dances. Hmm? Oh, no shame at all, nothing. So these are the symptoms of a Mahabhagavad. We should try to follow. Don't be attached in anything, worldly things. It is very, very durlabh janma. Rare. Even demigods want to be human. Don't stand. Then he began to tell bhakti parishanu bhavo virakti ranetra. Can you try? Ekakala Babajamanashanatashanta Shush Tushti Pushti Shud Apayon Ogasham. He's comparing the progress of devotion to
to the process of eating. That within it, within every biteful, one experiences three things. Tushti pushti shuda perno. That one gets pleasure from the taste of the food that he's taking. He also gets nourishment with every biteful. And gradually with every biteful, his hunger gradually diminishes. So similarly, Bhakti Prashana Baba Bharaktir, he gets devotional uh, ecstasies come. Uh, the Seva Vritti manifests in his heart. He wants to perform more and more devotional service. And also, he gets nourishment to his bhakti in the form of realizations. Direct experience in this process of devotional service comes. It's not this process of bhakti at this stage, it's not a dry process. There's direct experience. This is the progress af after performing devotional service. And finally, virakti or detachment from material activities will gradually manifest as one gradually becomes, uh, with every biteful, his hunger diminishes. So in this verse, he's explaining it. So similarly, we can use this in our daily activities of devotion to understand how am I progressing. This is the barometer of our seva. If we're still having new, new, new material desires, hankerings for material activities, then there must be some uh, uh, lack, some loophole in our devotional service. So we should uh, be attentive to these things. After that slope, you, you, it, it touch you tangrim, bhajato kutanya, anuvritya. It touch you tangrim, bhajato anuvritya, bhakti virakti bhagavat prabodha, bhavanti veva bhagavata siarajang, tata param shantim upeti sakshat. My dear king, the devotee who worships the lotus feet as an infallible personality of Godhead, with constant endeavor, thus achieves unflinching devotion, detachment, and experienced knowledge of the personality of Godhead. In this way, the successful devotee of the Lord achieves supreme spiritual peace. <laughs> So this verse is very parallel to the previous verse where it says that just like when we eat, we get pleasure, nourishment, <coughs> and relief from anger here. By worshipping Krishna, one achieves unflinching devotion, detachment, and experienced knowledge of the Lord. In other words, by one's practice of devotional service, one progressively goes through the stages of... Uh, development between Shraddha and Prem, and gradually one becomes free from all anxieties, knowing, as we were hearing before from the previous verse, that fear is coming from misidentification with the body, and therefore um, possessiveness towards bodily relationship, and fear to lose those. So when one becomes free from that, one develops spiritual peace. In other words, he is not able and he is not anymore affected by anything pertaining to the body, to the mind, and so-called possessiveness in this world. And then he is able to achieve that uh, establishment in peace. He is completely engaged in Krishna's service. And he can directly experience Krishna, knowledge of Krishna. In the Bhagavatam, it's in the second chapter also we hear that, one comes to the stage of uh, relies knowledge of Krishna. He gets direct experience in this way. Thank you. Here, Anubhritya means with all time, all time, one, one moment, what doing? By all senses, by mind remembering the sweet pastimes of Krishna, by ear hearing the sweet pastimes of Krishna, by mouth of oh, singing the glories of Krishna and his name and other things, with hands serving, with feet traveling in the holy places of Vrindavan, 
नवद्वीप धाम एंड नीलाचल धाम सो बाई बाई ऑल ऑर्गन्स यू शुड यूटिलाइज होल अवर सेंसेस ऑल द टाइम दैट माया कैन नॉट इंटर इन अवर हार्ट एंड दस इफ यू विल डू देन ही इज भागवत एंड देन दैट पर्सन विल हैव अचीव एटर्नल पीस एंड ऑल्सो कृष्ण प्रेम then hearing this the king again asked atha bhagavatam bruta jad dharmo jad disham nida oh i want to know the symptom of bhakta bhagavat how they talk how they behave behave what they tell i want to know what is their nature and with what symptoms he can be most dear to krishna i want to know and then he began to tell sar bhute suja pashe yu ज्ञानतिमिरंधस्ञानजन शलाकया चक्षुरोन्मीत तस्म श्री गुरव नम सफ्टर दैट टल सर्वूतेषु ये भगवद भाव आत्मन भूता भागवत भूता भागवत आत्मन स भागवत तम उत्तम भागवत सर्वूतेषु ये नॉट ओनली ह्यूमन बींग्स इन ऑल लिविंग एंटिटी He'll see to whom, ya pasyed bhagavad bhava matma na, and which mood he has in his heart. He thinks all are serving my worshipable deity, my God, in same mood. If someone in mood of opulence, like Prahlad Maharaj, he thinks, oh, all of this in this world, all are serving my worshipable deity, like is my same mood. And in this world, who came in Mahaprabhu's line? Although all in Mahaprabhu's line, they are constitutional form of marriage arrangement, Shri Mukti Radhika, but some exceptional case also there. In some are sukha mood. Think oh, all are serving Krishna in sukha ros, in friendly term. Who is parental mood? Like Mother Jasoda and Nanda Baba serving Krishna. Always making you laugh, and sometimes Nanda Baba asking Krishna, "Oh, can you bring my wooden shoes, please?" Krishna became very happy, taking these shoes on his head and smilingly going to Nanda Baba, who is in this parental mood. He thinks, "Oh, all are serving my Prabhu in this parental mood." Who is special in Sringa Ras? They are thinking, "Oh, all in this world." All living entity serving my worshipable deity in Sringar Ras. So Bhagavad Bhava Matmana. Although all are not same mood, but is imposing them. Oh, all are like this. Bhutani Bhagavatat Nesa. And in all living entity he saw is Prabhu. Although everybody's worshipable deity is not same. Although so many disciples, devotees are. The disciple of same guru, but their also deity is not same. Like Narad Rishi is guru, and Dhruva Maharaj is his disciple. His also deity is Narayan. Narad Rishi is guru, Pralad Maharaj is his disciple. His also deity is Nishinga Dev. Pral Narad Rishi is guru, Balmik is disciple. His also deity is Lord Ram Chandra. Narad Rishi is guru. Basdev is disciple. His also deity is Sri Krishna. So, although in same guru so many disciple, but all are same mood. So, Bhagavati Atman Nesa, and he is seeing all living in in all living entity. 
he is seeing his own Prabhu only, not others. Who like this, they are Bhagavatam, Uttam Bhagavat. They are not like Madhyam, Konishtha or Madhyam, they are Uttam Bhagavat. So after that, we will listen more thing. Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam, Guru Dev. Hare Krishna. No, no. What? It's very Now, is definite, is definite, is definite by Silo Sukhdev Goswami, the symptom of Madhya Madhikari, Isareta Dadhinesu, Balisesu Disatsucha, Prema Maitri Kripa Pekcha, Jakarotisa Madhama. Isareta, he has four symptoms. Isareta Dadhinesu, Isar means God, Tadadhin means his devotee, Balis means who is innocent, and Disatsucha means envious to God or devotee. His fourth type of behavior. He has prem for God. And who is devotee? Isar Adhinesu. Prem and Maitri. He has Maitri. Means friendship with them. Maitri also different types. Maitri is the Maitri. Friendship with friendship. And who is friend but junior to him. Friendship but prominent of mercy is there. And friend but senior, much more senior to him than with servitor mood but friendship. These three types. Prema Moitri Kripa, who is innocent or ignorant, know nothing but very simple hearted. He has merciful glance towards him. He wants always how to grace them, how to make them progress in Krishna consciousness. And who is against of devotee, deity, and devotion, very envious towards them, neglect them. So here, prema maitri kripa preksha. Prem, prem means after roti. When roti will come after that prem, like Hanuman, is premi bhakta. If prem will come, then how will be Madhyam Bhakta? Not possible at all. But is mentioned in Bhagavatam. Is Bhagavat wrong? Not possible at all. We cannot think about in dream. So why in Srimad Bhagavatam we told Prema Mati Kripa Peksha? Means he is in Bhav Bhakti now. We are going to achieve Bhav Bhakti. So if the symptom of Madhyam Uttam, not achieve Prem yet. As soon as he achieve prem, then he will uttam bhagavat, bhagavat uttam. But not achieve, not achieve prem yet, he is going to achieve bhav. It is mentioned by Srila Vishrachya Kodithaku, the commentary of this law. So, prema maitri kripa apeksha. And when in uttam bhagavat, he is traveling in this world, he is always absorbed in his mood. Although, he is among with us, or previous also, he is doing so many activities. We think he is like a mortal like ourselves. Don't think so. Among being with among us, he is doing his own service, which is in his constitutional form. Like especially in Kali Yuga. When someone got perfection, his soul will be divided into two parts. Two. One, they will start Chaitanya Mahaprabhu being abode of Navadip Dham. When I by other, he will serve divine couple being in his the associate of divine couple. So is Bhagavatam being with us 24 hours a day serving, same time simultaneously Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and divine couple. But we could not understand this thing. When will be qualified enough and his master of his he will bestow his mercy, then we can understand that, that thing not before that. So Bolchi. So here Prema Maitri, so Kripa Peksha and then you will be Premi Bhakta, then you will be Bhagavata Uttam. And when this Uttam Bhagavata is traveling in this world, seeing somebody's miserable activity or miserable position, then his heart became melt. Karunaya Vidravan Deha. Then he bestows mercy. Like Naradrishi bestows mercy to Nalkuvar Monikri and so many. So being in Bhagavata Uttam, in absorb in his mood, he will not bestow his mercy. When he will see our sufferings and realize, then he bestows mercy. 
and then he come down in Madhyam Adhikar. But he is not losing his position. Being in Uttam Adhikar, because then Konishto Adhikar and Madhyam Adhikar already inside him. So being possessed in Madhyam Adhikar, then he bestows his mercy. Now after that, is mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam, the symptom of Konishto Adhikar. Or Chaya Meva Haraye, Pujangya Sraddhaye Hate, Natat Bhakte Su, Channe Su Sabhakta Prakita Smrita, Or Chaya Meva Haraye, what he is doing? Or Chaya Meva Haraye, he is doing Archan of Hari. Whenever you take initiation, you have to learn two things. One is Archan, another cooking. When we join Mot, then Gurudev trained us, Two things, first, orchan and cooking, both have to learn. If you not, don't know cook, how to offer? And when you initiated, you have to offer. Without offering, how you can take your food? <laughs> then you have to learn cooking. So two things have to learn first. Then other thing. So orchan eva haraye, pujang yo sraddhaye hate. And doing puja, but with sraddha, not paramarthi sraddha has come properly. Pujayanga Sraddhayate Natad Bhakti Natad Bhakti Su He has love for God Sraddha for God But not love or honor for his Bhakti or devotee Or Anna Or Anna means other incarnation of God or other Vaishnavas Then Sabhakta Prakita Smita He called Prakita Bhakti Not a Prakita Bhakti so, but when he is in this stage, but he is simple hearted, krame krame teo bhukta bhakta haive uttam, gradually by good association, he will learn all tattas and will develop in his Krishna consciousness. Because he is simple hearted, the Madhamadikar will bestow their mercy to brought him up to in Krishna consciousness. So, who have taken initiation, they have to learn archan and cooking. Then to other service, and gradually, gradually, when our Shraddha will grow up, then we can understand what is our duty, then we can honor his devotee more than God. If we do so, then Bhagavan will be more pleased, then gradually, gradually, we will enter in Madhya Madhikar. Hare Krishna. Bancha Kalbataru first Chakri Pas, Hindu Bhai Vacha, Krita Nankavani. जय जय राधा रमना हरि बो जय जय राधा रमना हरि बो जय जय राधा रमना He wanted to please 
prostitute and so a rotten dead body dead body she took like bow and went to her house in the midnight when rani is ready was ready and taking a serpent he climbed on the wall and from there he fell down then prostitute told him why not this love and affection for krishna why for this material body full of for urine blood and juice and then he at one he was renounced and began to go to vrindavan in the way again he was attached with her lily and then he took therapy therapy and what he did what he did and then he began to go to vrindavan and then mercifully krishna came and took him to vrindavan there he also built a mangal for conjugal and then told oh i don't want to keep these eyes from one i have seen you i want to remember always you then krishna and radhika mercifully they did like so and then he began to show and remember krishna what he told the shlokas it is called krishna karnam it is nectar for the year of krishna chaitanya mahapur collected in his south india too and gave it to all devotees to remember all these shlokas so billa mangal prabhu ki jai my blessings to you all go bhai varande